Okay, guys, welcome to a new a new series. This will be how to make a platformer game on Scratch. So we want to do a one clicked. It will set rotate. It will set rotation style to left and right, and it will go to zero zero. It will show. So we want to make two variables called X velocity and Y velocity and check for this sprite only now we want to set X velocity and set Y velocity to zero you can just ignore this, uh, the variable slip and walk because we will get to that later you will do a forever loop go to my blocks do platform add jump speed uh, jump height I'm sorry then you want to add another input gravity another input friction then the last input running speed then check run without screen refresh for this, we want to do 11.5 minus 1 and 0 0.7 and 3. So we'll just drag this over here. Okay, so now we will. Oh, yeah, so we have to. This is all in a sprite called player. And. Uh, we will make a costume. It will just be this box, and we will name it Hitbox. Then we want to make a sprite called Level. Th these will just be our levels. So, go back to Player Sprite. It will switch costume to Hitbox. If statement or key right or key depressed let's just save that it will point in direction 90 and it will change x velocity by running speed let's duplicate that Oop. duplicate this Then we will do key left arrow or key A pressed minus 90 times negative 1. Whoop. Run the speed. Then we want to set x velocity to times x velocity times we want to grab friction and bring it all the way down there then we want to do change x by x velocity there we go now we want to do in Big if statement, sorry, I was just thinking. If touching level, then we will make a new variable called slope, and for this sprite only. Then we will set slope to zero. A repeat until block right inside that then we want to do in or block not touching level or slope equals to 8 
save the project now. It will repeat, change slope by one, and change y by one. So then there will be another if statement. If touching level, then we will make, uh, where is it, change y by uh, times negative 1, change slope by times negative 1. And it will repeat. Let's see? Okay. Ceiling of. Why does the. Why does the. Why does this map do that? Abs of x velocity. Then inside that, we want to do an if statement if touching level. Correct? Yep. It will change x. Yep. By times one. Um, divided by x velocity of abs of x velocity, like that. So then, still inside that, we want to do set x velocity to zero. Then we want to make a block saying change y by y velocity because y velocity like just y then we want to do an if else statement if else ow ow touching level then it will repeat if statement if else statement so and uh, repeat until repeat until or repeat ceiling abs of y velocity sorry I'm just checking if I'm getting this right touching level okay level. then it will change y by times divided by abs of negative whoop, negative one y velocity and y velocity okay so that's good then for the if else statement and or key key up arrow or key w pressed and equals negative one it will be divided by Abs of 
velocity. Y velocity divided by Y velocity. This is a lot of code to, to remember. That's why I'm checking back and forth. Then it will set set Y velocity to Y velocity to zero. For the first one, it will set Y velocity to jump height. Well, not there, right here. Okay, so it should look like this right now. Then in the else, it'll change Y velocity by zero, uh, by one, sorry. Okay, so let's try that. Oop, oh, and then change Y velocity by negative one. So there we go, it should move, hit its head, and go up slopes, and of course, collide. Like that. That is perfect. So now we want to make another costume name. Call it Idol. And you want to make it the same size as the hitbox. So just make a little human. Like if you were just not even running, just staying there. That's how you would look. So at the bottom we want to do switch costume. Uh, let's see where is it is. Idle. And now we want to do if, if, if. Then we want to make another variable called walk and check for this sprite only. We are almost there. This is the second to last code that we have to do. It will switch costume to walk we will define that now to do I believe it's three or four ors three ors okay so now we want to do if key if key if key or if key right arrow if key or D or left arrow or key A press, it will switch costume to walk. Now we want to do this and that, minus three and two, and do Y velocity in Y velocity. So now we want to make two other costumes called jump and walk. So one will be jumping, so, arms and body parts are really close to the body and falling sp more spread apart. Just like that. Oh, and by the way, at the very beginning, we want to do a set size to 80. Okay, so that's good. So now we want to do switch costume to jump. And it will switch costume to fall. So now over here, we want to define walk. So if we go over here, we should get another, hold on, scrolling up on the other computer. We want another one click. It will set walk to five. Or whatever costume n number your walk starts on. Mine starts at 5, so I will set walk to 5. Do a forever loop. Then if statement. Then after the if statement, wait 0 0.1. And then in the if statement, we will do set walk to 5. Then we want to do this, 8, walk, if walk is greater than 8, then forever it will change walk by 1. So now when we do go, he should switch to custom idle, and he should be running. 
So this is perfect. <laughs> so who so I have practiced and the one that I'm practicing with uh, his name is Funnut Tutorials. Link in description to his video. But this is only part one, so we're gonna do a lot more things. So bye, see you in part two, which will be a lot more epic.